Guys, what's up? As the video title would note, I'm on vacation, on the road, perfect timing. WWE SummerSlam cards just came out. Hit a couple Walmarts, was able to get eight packs total, and as a bonus, which is the preview, was able to get these packs of Heritage. I guess someone unearthed them in the back. $10 a box, couldn't pass them up. Don't even remember what the checklist is, but always fun to open the older sets. So that said, let's move into this. I also forgot my blade, so we're improvising with these scissors. Not too much to talk about. Really happy to be on vacation. Just one of those periods, I'm sure everyone's been through it. Where it just feels like everything's busy, one thing after another, and you can't breathe. So it's nice to have some quiet time. As I noted in another video, I will be attending Extreme Rules in Philly tomorrow. I know some people maybe aren't that high on the card, or even with WWE in general. But, you know, live shows are always fun. I can't stress that enough. And a lot of the things that maybe go slow here because it's a new set. I do like these cards. Very reminiscent of Road to WrestleMania. Got a SummerSlam All-Stars. So, nice cards. Anyway, yeah, you go to a live show and a lot of the things that bother people, the storylines, maybe the commentary... You're just not dealing with those things. You know, you're just checking out the action in the ring. Which is usually pretty good because these guys are not on a national platform in the top company in the world for nothing. Rousey Tribute or Spotlight, it says. We've got a SummerSlam's Greatest Matches. And plus, you know, you get all the spectacle, you get the full impact of the music, the entrances, the lights. I'm actually glad, even in spite of everything I said, there we've got Selena Vega, that I went to this as opposed to the Raw in Newark on Monday. And it's always more special going to a pay-per-view because you're more likely to have a title change. Though off the top of my head, I'm not sure I'm expecting any here. But I'm probably forgetting something. Yeah, these are, are really nice cards. This is definitely in the spirit of Road to WrestleMania and a good replacement for Heritage. There we have the SummerSlam poster spotlight card. This one's from 2014. These are pretty cool. Could definitely, I'm a big display guy, and these would definitely be cool for display. AJ Styles defeats John Cena. Kofi. Now it says AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura kick each other, but it looks like Shinsuke's doing all the kicking there. And then AJ defeats Nakamura. Funny that those are back to back. Yeah. SummerSlam All Stars, Agent Christian. Got Natalia. And Texas Tornado defeats Mr. Perfect for the IC Championship. So I'm not sure what I'm going to hit as far as relics, autographs, that type of thing. But I am enjoying these cards just based on the set. Really nice design. Got an Undertaker SummerSlam All-Stars. Lex Luger defeat Yokozuna. Wow, I remember that. And it was by count out, so he didn't even get the belt after all that big hype. The Lex Express. 
it's basically, I think, because at that time they wanted him to replace Hogan, but, you know, nice guy if you meet him now. Had some hard times physically, but back then, uh, Lex Luger was pretty much his gimmick. He was an arrogant guy, and I think people saw through it. Hunter Hearst Helmsley, SummerSlam All-Stars. Okay. Looks like we got three packs before our first hit. Got another Rousey Spotlight. John Cena defeats Randy Orton. Got a regular Ruby Riot. Pretty cool picture. And just bent these cards. But luckily, I just buy these to, for the relics, make some videos, so not a huge concern for me. SummerSlam All-Stars Lesnar. Sorry if I'm going through these cards kind of fast, but I still have a whole nother blaster to open, and I do not want this video to go on forever. What's up with the focus there? Interestingly enough, I will say, did stop at a target as well, and they only had Raw. Oh, we have another poster, Lesnar and The Undertaker from 2015. So I don't know if the target is later than getting these, or it's only Walmart. I just found that weird. They still have the Raw cards, which, as I detailed in another video, middle of the road, don't feel the need to open more of those. And these have our relic card and should be four women's evolution cards. Got Alexa Bliss wins the SmackDown Women's Championship. SmackDown Women's Championship is introduced. Charlotte Flair becomes the new WWE Women's Champion. And Charlotte Flair wins the first Hell in a Cell match. And our card is, we see it's Jeff Hardy. SummerSlam, Matt Relic. Does not look like it's even numbered. So I guess if you like Jeff Hardy, it's cool. Kind of a bomb for me. All right, let's do pack two. I do apologize if you heard some, I'm just going to say yammering. There were people outside my door because obviously I'm away. I'm in a hotel room. Uh, it's very annoying, but not much you can do about that. Let's get to our second pack. I think it needs an extra cut. Hopefully we'll get a better hit. It's impossible to feel if the relics are good or not with those extra women's cards it's in there. The Miz, Becky Lynch. You got a bunch of these greatest Royal Rumble cards. Probably should have not put those in there. That's a divisive topic to say the least. And it looks like we have a blue SummerSlam All-Stars of Edge. But yet, I do not see a number on here. So I guess that's just the color. Though we uh, 
and a numbered card. Got Andrade, makes a SmackDown debut. Might be a bronze. Yeah, very tough to tell the, the variance with these cards. And I guess we're back at the beginning of that pack. Actually, that would be a parallel, not a variant. Thinking uh, comics with that. Hold these up a little higher. Another SummerSlam All-Stars. And another SummerSlam poster. 2018 Spotlight card. So I'm going to say so far these poster cards are probably the highlight of this set for me. And something that I'm definitely going to keep. You know, some of these, I'm just going to say it. They take up a lot of room, and I've just been getting rid of some of them. No reason to keep them around. Let's go a little slower here. We got Mandy Rose, Daniel Bryan, Alexa Bliss, Roman Reigns. Bret Hart, SummerSlam All-Stars, then you got Ziggler again. And the other thing, I guess, to note here is one of the criticisms with the Topps cards is that they reuse the library a lot, that there was a limited library. So it does look like with this set focusing on SummerSlam that we got some new images. So that's pretty cool right there. Another Rousey Spotlight. A lot of uh, just regular SummerSlam cards in this pack. Looks like we got five packs before they hit. And as I was saying about not wanting the video to run too long. You can see we're just about to hit 13 minutes. Oh, we got a Carmella. I don't PC much, but I will probably keep this one. Big Mella fan. Oh, we got Sasha Banks, who is, last I heard, maybe coming back in the summer. Maybe we'll even see her tomorrow. Because we had that reference from Nikki Cross that uh, to Bailey that she needs a friend. So you never know. Got Elias, Braun. A lot of AJ versus Shinsuke in this set. Another SummerSlam All-Stars. Oof, Virgil. Three packs before the hit. I guess the only other thing I would mention here is if you're looking at this wall of cards here and saying, oh, well, why not just buy a hobby box with a guaranteed hit? You know, that's kind of the fun of these things. Just seeing what you'll get. I'm not going to yeah, I spent a little money here, but I'm not overextending myself by any means. And it's just fun to see what I'm going to get, make these videos, and kind of let people see this set. See if, what the cards look like, if they want them. That's really all it is. You buy a hobby box, the only real mystery is, you know, okay, well, whose autograph are you going to get? And then if you get someone on the lower end... You're not really happy with it. This, I guess the expectations are low. So, 
if you get something, it, it's really cool. You know, don't know how many of these I'm gonna buy. Probably wait till I finished what I have here. Kind of take it from there. Got another Rousey spotlight. All right, let's get to the last hit. Same Charlotte Flair card from the last pack. So we got two dupes there. Lita unveils the new WWE Women's Championship. Mickey James returns to help Alexa Bliss. And our hit is it's Natalia. Yeah, it's another Matt Relic. I do like the design. Doesn't look like this one is numbered either but those are the breaks still got six packs to open hope you enjoyed this video as always thanks for watching keep checking back